I just want to read this person's post about the Mucinex Man. I haven't seen anything about the Mucinex Man, but I do have a history with him. Okay, do you want to get into your history, or do we want to talk about how randomly the internet wants to fuck the Mucinex guy now? Fuck him? Yeah. No, he's like the least sexy thing to me. Nothing can cure these people who want to bang the Mucinex monster. When you are in therapy as a young child, as I was, the therapist tells you to visualize your anxiety as an entity so that it's easy for you to conceptualize as a kid. And my anxiety was the Mucinex man. That was what I envisioned as a kid. And his name was Mr. Evil. That's creative. Yeah, it really was. But that's how what I associate him with is okay, childhood well, trauma. I, I need I need to I need to figure out what these people are seeing. Okay. He's not hot. Well he's like giving like He's really a good frat star there. He has a whole family. Yeah, he has a wife and kids, right? Yeah. What are people saying? Is there a Mrs. Mute Kiss? Okay, by that range of motion. Oh, they're, I want, they're joking. I want you. No, they're joking. Well, there was another post made <clears throat> by someone named, and let me pull this up real quick. Official Sean Penn on Instagram posted a... Um, Here's a it's a combination of a bunch of comments. I want to kiss I want you to kiss me passionately. Uh I want you to fill Sean my Sean Penn said that about the Mucinex? This no, this is just an account. Uh, these these are a combo of a bunch of comments. About the Mucinex man. Like, What's Sean Penn about? have to do with it? It's the account that I'm reading from. It's just like, it's just a name. It could be any name. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh I want you to fill my nostrils, dot dot dot, and maybe a few other holes. When I think about you, it's always dirty thoughts. I'll let you enter my body, Mr. Mucus. Right. Oh, so hot, Daddy Mucus. Some people are just fucking around. Let me peg your Mucusi. Yeah. My body yearns for you. God, you're so bad. I need you. And the comment, the, it's a combo of all those. And that's about him. And he said, uh, the, the, the caption is, the horniest spot on the internet is the comment section for Mr. Mucus official. Perhaps it's not the light catch. It's Perhaps it's not Perhaps it's the way the light catches on the anthrop- anthropomorphic snot sickly congealed exterior. Perhaps it's disgusting little hat. Perhaps, maybe, it's just his overall laissez-faire bad boy attitude. Suitcase packed as if he could up and leave you for something way better at any moment. Whatever it is that draws these sick freaks, parentheses not derogatory, in, he's wetting pussies and filling up more tissues than a Mucinex DM 12-hour max strength user. The moment Mr. Mucus starts his OnlyFans, it's absolutely and irrevocably over for you hoes. I can't say where he and his repulsive attache, attache are off to next, but I know he'll be leaving behind a trail of slime and broken hearts. That took so long for me to read, but he's... So let's talk about... This is a big marketing day for us. Uh, I like that they are now Mr. Mucus official. His Instagram is kind of leaning into... The sexiness and the laissez-faire nature of he's got big booger energy. They, it's crazy how like we as a society just like pick one thing and. I love when the internet does this though. Yeah, it's like one thing is it for all of us. Like Timothy Chalamet, we were all on that train at the same time. Now everyone's doing Mucinex and Pedro Pascal. Mr. Mucus has kind of also changed gender norms and the narrative. He's How is saying, he defying gender norms? I feel like he's very much binary. Yeah. But he's kind of changing them back. <laughs> <laughs> and you love that? He's just kind of leaning into it with his laissez-faire bag always packed attitude. So you, you would have rather seen that on the red carpet than Harry Styles? Yes! <laughs> oh, yes! Wait, can we go to that last picture and read some um, comments really quick? Hey, my lungs are always wide open for you. I'll let you enter my body, Mr. Mucus. Oh, so hot, Daddy Mucus. Here you drop this, King. Just a <laughs> That's a good one. My body yearns for you. Hashtag big booger energy. It's funny. You drop Daddy. this, King is still funny. <laughs> <laughs> Usually stuff like that gets old in one second, but I'll never not laugh at, oh, you, you drop, drop this, King. <laughs> yeah. Um, love him. And like, 
what's crazy about this is you they create i think i love when brands create these like things and like we adopt them because like we've seen them so much like mr mucus well what came first the brand saying he's sexy or us saying he's sexy it's a joke it's like an internet i know joke, but now so what, i'm but like what came first the the internet right and they've now leaned into it as a marketing thing but like we're talking about a guy who has an entire family he him and his family are, are a unit you know right. a big mucus unit monogamous so as they, far now, as we're now, concerned i know but they've got they've gotten us hooked because i'm invested in his family where is he off to next it's it's allergy season mm-hmm. is he gonna am i his host is he about to airbnb my lungs maybe I have pretty bad allergies. It's fun. I don't know. It's like a fun thing. So now they've made Mucinex, who I'm a big buyer of, yeah, has made a whole narrative around it. I like it. It's fun. 